Hey, it's Coach Josh, and I'm so excited to be here with you in the dojo in 2019. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipe that we've been working on here at Training for Warriors Portland. And as you can see, I'm broadcasting in a t-shirt that's not Training for Warriors. OMG. I know. It's a little bit strange, but I'm pulling out some new stuff. You might see me in a pink hoodie. You might see me in a, a cool shirt that I like. And for instance, uh, my old airborne unit. But my point is, is that it's the same strategies with a new twist this year. And one of my favorite strategies that we implemented and got away from here at the, in the Facebook group is the Warrior Four, the, the four victories that you're going to have every day, mind, body, spirit, and gratitude. And uh, I certainly haven't been posting like I should, and I've lost a little bit of the context. So this video is to re reassert the context of what those things are supposed to mean to you in your, in your life and your success, the training for warriors and outside of the dojo. And uh, we've been talking about big rocks. We're still telling the story of the mason jar. And I'll tell that story again very quickly because some people might have missed it. But there's a jar that college professor is educating his students, saying that your life is this jar. There's, you have rocks, pebbles, and sand. And you're trying to fit everything into the jar. And interestingly, if you try and put the sand, which represents pleasurable pastimes, you know, TV, video games, you know, chilling out, drinking beer, if you try to put the sand in first, there's not enough room for all the pebbles, which represent work, career, errands, things that have to get done but aren't that important. And then if you don't fit all the pebbles in, you can't fit all the rocks in. The rocks are the big things, your faith, family, finances, fitness, um, and things like that. Interestingly, if you rearrange your jar, put your big rocks in first, then the pebbles fill in the space in between the rocks, sand fills in the space in between the pebbles, and everything fits. Because you've got to get the big important things in there first, then everything will work. Sounds strange, but those of you who have kind of reprioritized re your life, you already know what I mean. Because there's a magical thing that happens when you organize your time and intentions properly. You end up doing more with less. But we'll get into that later. The point is, that's what I want your mind, body, spirit, and gratitude to focus on. So you should have your big rocks, your health, your family relationships, your finances, your career, what you're doing for your own mental and physical benefit, your spiritual growth as a person, how you're investing in your community and your, uh, and your giving back. Whatever it is for you, everybody's are going to be slightly different, but you should be doing tiny steps of those every day. Something for your mind, something for your body, something for your, your spirituality, something for uh, your, your mental health, gratitude, your personal relationships. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to post my Warrior 4 with my big rocks inside of it. And you'll see, I've labeled everything out so you can see how it applies. So I'm still sticking with the big rocks theme and just using the format of the Warrior 4, which we already have. And we, have, we can get back in the habit of using if we, if we focus on it and we have a purpose and intention. Old stuff, new spin. Makes it fun. But you've got to connect the dots. So you have to understand what your big rocks are. If you didn't do our goal setting workout, that's no problem. But know what your big important things are. These things are, you, if you had nothing else in your life, you'd still be happy. If you're in good shape, if you could pay your rent, you could save for retirement, you got a good relationship with your spouse, your kids, your brothers and sisters, your family. Maybe it's your, maybe it's your spiritual life, maybe it's your church. Maybe it's the dojo. I don't know what it is for you, but you need to know so that you can focus on it and keep what's important so you can keep the most important thing the most important thing. That's what we're going to be talking about with the big rocks in January, getting refocused on what the most important thing is. You stay focused, and I'm going to help you with that. Coach Josh, training for Warriors Portland, helping you stay focused to bring out the warrior within.